Uh, yes, uh, very good morning all. Uh, so this is Harish Varan, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Astro Engineering College of Engineering, Astro Parambadur. Uh, this session is uh, recording to discuss about the guidelines for design of the standard concrete mix. So as per IS 10262 2019. So you all aware uh based on the discussions during the lecture hours hope all the students have a knowledge what are the ingredients uh why we are in need of the concrete you know what are the basic ingredients which is needed uh for what purpose we are going for a concrete instead of any other uh, materials so everything we have discussed so here so whenever we are expecting to achieve some uh, standard uh output we have to design by considering n number of factors. If you are fixing some expectation, so to achieve that expectation, what are the things we have to carry out while executing? So while talking about a concrete, this is not a, a naturally available. It is a man-made things. Uh, a concrete is a mixture of n number of materials. The output is depends on each type of material meanwhile each material purely depends on n number of factors so by considering all factors we have we, we are expecting some output so to expect that output what are the things we have to consider so that was everything was framed by the is code number 10262 uh, the reframe uh, the year 2019 so by this it is we are able to get a pure guidelines to get a concrete mix so let us get into that uh, before getting at that uh, we must aware so what are the things we have to consider so just like that we can't able to proceed regarding the design of uh, concrete a few a basic idea we must need as per uh, is code these are the things suggested so when we are talking about the type of mix what type of mix we are going to execute? What is a great designation? Uh, whether we are expecting M30, M25, M40, what great strength we are uh, we are going to design that. That great designation is very much important. Then type of cement and grade of cement. Yes, cement is one of the major ingredients for concrete. The characteristics of the cement have a detailed uh, understanding is needed how it was manufactured how it was getting reacted uh, what is meant by hydration uh, in all aspect we are finally fixing a grade of the cement like 33 43 53 that is the grade of the cement so what type of grades uh, grade of cement we are going to impose uh, we are going to use in the our own concrete mix the maximum nominal size of the aggregate so based on our application 10 mm jellies a 20 mm or 40 mm what type of jelly we are going to use in a concrete that is we are simply calling it as a coarse aggregate then minimum cement content and the maximum water cement ratio the cement is much needed if you are uh, while talking about a concrete the major three ingredients is cement fine aggregate and coarse aggregate in a proper proportion we have to mix all the things together to achieve the final output while talking about a cement i just mentioned there is a number of uh, grades available so we have to select uh, not only grade there are a number of type of cement based on our application we have to select what type of cement we are going to utilize like that fine aggregate is sand so for that we have to design then uh, coarse aggregate what is the dimension of the coarse aggregate we are going to uh, Impose in a concrete that purely uh, decided based on the application and our outcome. Next is called minimum cement content and a maximum water cement ratio. So yeah, that IS code exactly regulate and suggested what are the type of grade of cement we are going to impose for that grade. Uh, they are uh, they are uh, suggesting a minimum cement. So then only we can get a proper bond and final the output we can expect. So for that by considering n number of aspect. Uh, we have to frame a minimum cement content then a maximum water cement ratio 
so we are adding a water cement is there fine aggregate is there coarse aggregate is there when we are mixing all the together we can call it as a concrete it is a mixture we can't expect a strength so when we are able to get a strength in only if you are mixing a water to that mix the water and cement have a good uh, uh, chemical reaction because of the hydration of the cement we are getting some output so how much water we have to add uh, that the strength of the cement is purely depends on how much water we are adding in it to achieve the full 100 percentage strength we have to satisfy minimum amount of water to be add same time if you are uh, adding a more amount of water that excess that also lead to the problem so guidelines suggest to select a minimum water content as well as maximum water content to be added so yeah, technically they are suggesting a term water cement ratio so as for the concrete mix all other terms and ratios will be decided with respect to cement cement fine aggregate coarse aggregate the uh, the amount of fine aggregate and amount of coarse aggregate is uh, indicated with respect to a content of cement so like this water also represented with respect to cement content that a term called water cement ratio the ratio of between the mass of water we are going to add divided by mass of cement we are going to add before we getting into the concrete mix design we i supposed to uh, frame and design in prayer then exposure condition so where we are going to uh, make use of this concrete for a construction whether it is a normal residential building in a normal area or it is in a coastal area or it is a salty environment for, or it is nuclear waste so there are n number of categories exposure conditions are suggested in is 456 uh, based on a table 3 and a table 5 we are able to decide uh, for what exposure condition we are going to suggest so in a further slide i am going to highlight what are the uh, conditions they generally suggested then workability required at the time of uh, placement of concrete so if you are, there is n number of possibilities uh, uh, when we are uh, manufacturing concrete uh, that concrete may be used for uh, execution of a footing or execution of the wall or execution of the column or uh, foundation or uh, slab or floor that may be of ground or first floor for fifth floor any any place when we are talking about placement the workability we have we have to consider the easiness of execution simply that uh, represented by the term called workability if i would like to uh, pour the concrete in a fifth floor but the concrete is available at the ground floor i need a good workability to pump and the place at that location for that we have to decide uh, the required time of placement then once the concrete is poured that at, at location it must be compact evenly there should not be presence of any voids in it so for that we have to go for higher vibrations then the workability if there is a, uh, the concrete is somewhat stiff it need more uh, toughness to execute if it is uh, if, if you are having a more higher workability Uh, simply uh, represent as a liquidity the concrete have a somewhat uh, liquid like uh, the flow it is very easy to place so that we need that workability that is to be decided whether the con that uh, concrete must have highly workable or low like this then transportation time uh, it is nothing but uh, the concrete is manufactured at that site itself uh, it, if it is a very low volume this is okay it is recommended but when you are talking about that uh, concrete to be uh, transported far away the place of construction is at one location the place of manufacture of the concrete is at another location uh, the transportation travel uh, will be we have to consider why means uh, there is another technical term we have to consider the instead of uh, the water we are adding it to the cement the chemical reaction started to evolve there is a two technical term i just highlighted in a uh, classroom that is called initial setting time and final setting time 
So based on this uh, two value, we can classify in n number of cement. In general, the normal ordinary Portland cement, uh, it started to lose its plasticity uh, in a time of uh, 30 minutes from the instant of we are adding water. After a few hours of time, say 10 hours, after 10 hours, it changes the whole uh, the thing into the harden, the hard, the hardness it started to evolve. So this two of phase plays a major role in case of execution. So the transportation time, then method of placing, whether it will be normally transported uh, by uh, with the help of a number of tools available in a, a site uh, like chute or in what aspect we are placing or whether it is to be pumped and uh, placed like that. Then degree of site control or the value of established standard deviation. A standard deviation is the main thing we have to consider uh, in case of uh, civil engineering aspect. We are always expecting uh, there should not be any deviation. At whichever the place I am going to take the concrete in the same uh, uh, volume, uh, that output must be same at all locations. If I am taking a 30 samples from a, a, a one uh, load of concrete, I always expect the same strength in uh, uh, 30 cubes. The variations is very less, the standard deviation also very less. But in practice, it is uh, not easy to achieve the lesser standard deviation. If, if, we, if we achieve, that means that mix is very good. But in practice, we are mixing a different specific gravity materials. The water is having one specific gravity, cement having one specific gravity, sand one specific gravity, and coarse aggregate. When we are mixing a different different uh, type of material together, that mixture, the homogeneity must be, we have to make sure. So in all aspects, if you are taking a sample at different time, at different uh, places, I just took the sample and I'm execute the test uh, by uh, the placing the concrete in a uh, concrete cubes. The strength, what I'm getting, I suppose to compare with the average value. If I'm taking a 30 samples, I have to test each uh, value of the concrete uh, cubes. Then I have to add together and I have to uh, get average. Then I have compare with the each values. I will get variance. From that, I able to arrive a standard deviation that uh, let me uh, explain in a uh, uh, upcoming slides. The standard deviation can be find by taking the samples at the site. If it is not possible, based on uh, experience, uh, what type of uh, target strength we are going to achieve, we can assume some value that is what suggested in IS 456. Next type of coarse aggregate, the type of fine aggregate, then maximum cement content. If you are adding a more cement, well, uh, every uh, student in a basic level thinking, you know, why don't we simply make the structure only with the cement? At the entry of the civil engineering, every people have uh, some idea. If you are purely going for a cement, the strength also very good, the durability also very good, like that we can think, but in actual, that should not be there. Why means the cement liberates heat of hydration because of that after during the curing period itself, it keep on liberate the heat till minimum at least to 28 days. Because of this, there is a more chance for cracks going to evolve. That shrinkage cracks simply called to take care of such uh, shrinkage cracks. We are adding some inert material of uh, fine aggregate sand and coarse aggregate uh, gravels. So uh, not only for that, also to minimize the cost while talking about, while comparing the cost of investment for uh, cement and sand and gravel, if you are uh, if you are adding a more uh, percentage of uh, sand and gravel, we can minimize, uh, we can make uh, or we can achieve the economic concrete section. So this is major. The type of coarse aggregate and type of fine aggregate. Uh, the type of sandy soil we are achieving. So uh, nowadays, 
we are in a practice to utilize manufactured sand instead of uh, river sand. Uh, so what are the type of uh, vine aggregate we are taking? We have to make sure all the basic, uh, the criteria it must be satisfied. We can conduct the test in a laboratory. When talking about fine aggregate, the size must be less than 4.75. While talking about coarse aggregate, the size must be more than 4.75. It is restricted up to 40 mm or 20 mm. Uh, while talking about jellies, we are calling 20 mm. But large jellies also we can uh, recommend 40 mm up to 40 mm we can recommend. Then uh, uh, particularly when we are talking about uh, a coarse aggregate, how it looks? In what dimension it looks, whether it must be a rounded or it must be a, a elongated shape or it is it, it, it's look like a flat that is flaky or irregular or angular. What shape we have to consider? Then how about the surface texture, whether it must be a smooth or whether this might be a rough surface that also plays a major role before going for a, a concrete mix design so based on the decision or based on availability we can decide a type of a coarse aggregate and a fine aggregate then whether we are going to include a chemical admixtures or mineral admixtures so for what purpose we are adding this type of admixtures means purely uh, to enhance the final output of the uh, concrete mix by add admixture is nothing but some additionally we are adding with the concrete mix to achieve some special properties whether for achieving a good workability or uh, to postpone the setting time or postpone the pre-bond the setting time for accelerate the work there are uh, then uh, to reduce the water demand the water requirement to reduce the work, uh, water requirement we can uh, by adding the chemicals we can achieve it or else naturally available minerals also we can add it to the concrete for special type of uh, achievements so probably the people started to use a fly ash nowadays a concrete block is also uh, made with a uh, sorry uh, sorry, I, uh, sorry instead of brick we are make use of a fly ash bricks on the top so we have forcefully utilized the waste product that's we can uh, come under uh, mineral property then, if there is any requirement for achieving a uh, early uh, strength, so like that, that is also we have to design in prayer. So now, so as per uh, the IS four five six, I just uh, took a, a snapshot of that and I just added here. Uh, here, there is n number of uh, concrete grade is recommended. Uh, as per IS four five six, they recommended a concrete in a three way ordinary concrete standard concrete high strength concrete uh, it is categorized uh, based on a symbolic representation m10 m15 m20 these three grades we can call it as an ordinary concrete then m25 to m55 with the interval of uh, 555 uh, up to m25 to m55 we can call it as a standard uh, concrete then m60 to M80, we can call it as a high strength concrete. So based on the application, we can decide if it is a per beam, uh, we can go for a standard concrete itself. If you are going for any uh, express highways, if you are, would like to uh, design so that uh, the strength will be, we are expecting higher uh, strength at the time we can go for M60. Based on application, we can decide need and application. So is there any other grade less than M10 uh, means? Yes. Uh, for a plain concrete without any reinforcement we can also make use of m10 that is also existence or for any temporary work we can go for a concrete grade less than m10 so what is that m represent 10 represent means m is nothing but a mix it is a symbolic representation of the grade of the concrete then 10 that value the two digit value indicates characteristics compressive strength of a concrete cube of size 150 mm at 28 days it is measured in terms of newton per mm square it is nothing but your concrete must be tested under a compression testing machine by making a concrete 
look like a cube the dimension of the cube is 15 centimeter that is 150 mm length 150 mm breadth 150 mm height that is called 150 cube that is to be tested in the uh, under the first we have to make it a yeah, concrete then after 20 uh, after 24 hours we have to remove that mold then it looks like a proper shape it will achieve as it uh, as it crosses final setting time it that uh, a concrete achieved a, a hardened state but the heat of liberation will never start hydration is keep on happening at least minimum of 28 days it will take so for that we have to allow uh, that concrete cube for curing for minimum of 28 days after that we have to take that uh, uh, concrete cube from the water then we have to undergo a compression testing so that will be explained in further slides yes so like this we have to make the, uh, the left uh, this part is uh, the, this one is called uh, uh, cube mold uh, the dimension internal dimension is 150 cross 150 cross height is 150 then after the 28 days we will get the step of a cube shape things that must be keep in the step of uh, compression testing machine this concrete test concrete compression testing machine exclusively for uh, conducting the compression test this also can be conducted in a normal utm universal testing machine uh, that here the, there is a control there is a uh, by this the strain rate the movement of the lower plate will be controlled at a constant uh, rate it will keep on moving the load also constantly it will uh, keep on moving so once keeping this uh, concrete cube inside this region this slowly moves up once the the contact is got closed the load from the lower arm started to act on this cube based on this reaction we are able to get the readout unit how much load is it is transferring it's keep on take the load after reaching the maximum load it can be take a concrete block going to get failed so how it fail means the failure can be resembled by crack that going to get compressed so but the by this we are able to uh, the load will be keep on increasing after the concrete cubes got failed the load come back the lo lo load started to the load taken by the concrete cube started to reduce by this we are able to uh, we are able to arrive what is the maximum load taken by the concrete cube then what is the cross sectional area on which the load is acting the surface area of the cube is 15 centimeter cross 15 centimeter or 150 mm cross 115 150 mm we know the load by divide by the area we will get compression strength of the concrete so that we have to decide so then after that the compression of the concrete can be represented in terms of three days seven days or 28 days i told 28 days we have to wait that to be uh, placed inside the water uh, by, by uh, treating that as a, a curing i can take that cube within a three days i can find that uh, value i can forecast the future that 28 days strength instead of uh, waiting for 28 days on third day itself i can guess why means when i'm uh, when i'm using a concrete for mass structure I'm going to uh, buy the concrete from any buyers. He's stating some values, but the contractor, the, there is a, uh, there is two place. One is contractor and another is client. What are the uh, things uh, uh, suggesting? Uh, what are the things they are, uh, what are the data given by contractor? The client no need to accept blindly. A contractor say, what are the concrete he using is having m30 gray the client will never accept will they will directly blindly accept they wants to investigate that concrete during the execution itself at the site they will undergo a workability test uh, like a slum cone uh, test at the field or the concrete that uh, fresh concrete can be taken into the laboratory they can conduct uh, compaction factor uh, or uh, flow table or VB lab. with that they can come out with a workability if the workability is satisfied indirectly they have some idea uh, regarding the execution process the quality but regarding the strength aspect they they have to make 
a concrete cube that is to be tested in compression testing machine. In a fresh concrete, we can't able to achieve. After final setting time only, we can uh, we can get a hard uh, a shape. Looks like a, a hard uh, surface of the concrete. But within a day, we can't expect exactly all the things will be happen. So for that, we can take that cube in a three days or seven days or 28 days. By conducting the uh, test at three days, whatever the value we are getting, by multiplying some other factors, we will get what is the strength we can expect on 28 days. So a graph will be slowly moving. So based on that uh, experience, that value can be we can predict so let me that also let me here uh, 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 explain the strength of the cement cannot be assessed with a neat cement paste considering the chance for formation of a shrinkage cracks after casting exactly there may be a, a only cement paste we can't able to make it as a concrete there is a more chance for occurrence of the shrinkage crack after it going to get harder the strength of the cement, how it can be assessed means the strength of the cement can be assessed by making it as a mortar. That uh, the cement plus fine aggregate sand by combining with the proper uh, proportion, we can call it as a mortar. So that I have to first make the mortar uh, in a proper proportion uh, suggested by IS code generally. One is to three, one part of cement and three part of the sand we have to take. What sand we have to take means, uh, while talking about Tamil Nadu, we are taking Ennur sand as a reference. So uh, that Ennur sand we can take. Then we have to find the, the required water content for, a, uh, for a mixing or to get a hundred percentage hydration. Uh, for that, we have to conduct the consistency test uh, with the help of Wicket apparatus. We have to arrive that uh, the consistency value that value of water we have to add to that cement and uh, uh, sand then we will get a mortar that mortar is to be uh, placed in a cube for cement we have to make use of seven centimeter approximately seven centimeter or 70 mm cube the dimension of the cube is 70.7 70.7 70.7 high in that cube we have to place the wet mortar then after the 28 uh, uh, 24 hours we have to uh, remove that mold we will get a hardened cube mortar that is to be kept in a compression testing machine then we have to find the what is the maximum failure load it takes divided by cross section area we will get compression strength of cement that is not a concrete we are talking about only cement uh, then the three day and the seven day strength is nearly half and two third of 28 days strength. so what uh, if you are taking that uh, a cube after three days of curing i'm i'm testing that in a laboratory i'm getting the value x means i can forecast exactly on 28 days i will get two times of x or if i get to the 28th day if i getting the x value means on third day i will get x by two Instead of going for a three day test, if I just take the seven days cured uh, uh, cement cube, for that I will get two third of uh, the final strength I will get. So by uh, instead of waiting for 28 days, I can undergo testing in a three days or seven days. This is the way I have to find the compression strength of cement. Uh, just like that we can't able to say because it, it also depends on where we are doing at what temperature we are doing, what type of water we are using, what is the pH of water, what is the humidity, everything plays a major role. As per uh, Indian standard, they are suggesting a room temperature is of 27 degree plus or minus 2 degree to conduct this test. Uh, meanwhile, the humidity must be 90 percentage. That should not be more than that. Uh, uh, for compacting such type of a small mortar cube, we can make use of yeah, vibrator. Instead of tamping, we can go for make use of a vibrator for getting good results. So this is the way we are going to mix to achieve the concrete. The mixed proportion of the ordinary concrete, uh, ordinary great concrete. We are going to make use of the four major things. Cement, sand, 
that is fine aggregate then coarse aggregate called gravel so to achieve that we are we are also adding water uh, that amount of water we are going to add with respect to cement now so as i mentioned there is a ordinary grade uh, m from m10 we can call it as a as per uh, is code they, they are mentioning m10 also called as ordinary grade so for ordinary grade uh, the, the the type of ordinary grade concrete can be uh, used for basic works very less important or uh, mild works for that we can recommend so one more thing the mixed proportion indicates what is the ratio of the material we are using what is the ratio between cement fine aggregate and coarse aggregate this three ratio plays a major role uh, at the uh, during the my initial uh, presentation i just highlighted all the ingredients are referred with respect to the cement then fine and coarse aggregate so as per uh, uh, the is code it, the, the ratio between fine aggregate and coarse aggregate is always double times if it is x kg of uh, fine aggregate we are taking the coarse aggregate must be two times of x so that is the way uh, here for a uh, uh, few grades we no need to follow uh, weighing batch weigh batching by volume batching itself we can execute or weight batching itself we can execute but the ratio we no need to go for design what are the things ratio i just highlighted here that for the ratio if you are taking the material we can achieve the strength what are the desired strength uh, mentioned if i go for m5 concrete m5 is the grade of the concrete i am going to use means i can go for 1 is to 5 is to 10 one represent one kg of cement five represent five kg of sand 10 represent 10 kg of coarse aggregate if i go for this this proportion with the proper addition of uh, water cement ratio i will get the compression strength of the concrete is around 5 newton per mm square that is what m5 this proportion is somewhat uh, uh, maintained the same for all all conditions then after m 15 or m20 up to m20 we are supposed to uh, make use for normal proportion suggested in a slide but if you are talking about m25 we are supposed to undergo proper mixed design by considering n number of aspect that is what here we must aware so as per uh, that explanation and uh, the types of concrete for ordinary concrete the ratio what are the things mentioned we can use but for M25 onwards, we are supposed to undergo mixed design. Uh, that is, we are going to discuss. Same time that uh, the ratio of the fine aggregate and coarse aggregate, generally, they are uh, suggested to, uh, to use one is two. One part of fine aggregate, two part of coarse aggregate. If in extreme condition, this ratio may be used as one is to 1.5 and lower limit of one is to 2.5. Nothing wrong uh, that never uh, impact much changes so there are n number of type of cements available based on uh, that application based on the raw materials based on a special uh, conditions so these are the things a normal uh, that uh, the grade of concrete still we are using for all type of uh, execution opc ordinary portland cement with a different three grades 33 43 53 nowadays we are always going for 53 grade that is what a 33 grades uh, the, uh, grade of cement is not much available in the field but uh, but there is existence there is a separate code is available for uh, maintaining the standards to manufacturing and everything the rapid hardening cement portland slag so everything have a sp some special qualities so we have to decide what type of uh, cement we are going to use so this is a way uh, the cement bag will be dispatched with the uh, weight of 50 kg at the end of the manufacturing year, it will be packed and sealed properly from the cement bag itself we can come to know what grade is that what type of uh, concrete uh, what is the is code they are following for manufacturing everything will be mentioned so then so while talking about uh, concrete design the grade designation plays a major role 
the grade of concrete to be uh, fixed based on the target strength of the concrete to be arrived if i if i would if i would like to achieve uh, uh, a target if i wants to earn 100 rupees i cannot exactly fix the target as 100 i have to fix some more for by considering some there is a fall there is a number of factor will decide the expenditure i supposed to uh, target with some percentage like that concrete also whatever the maximum uh, we are we are need to achieve we can't exactly design for that we have to fix some what some what by considering all other deviations we have to consider some extra value of uh, uh, that target so for that we have to arrive the target strength of the concrete so just like that we can't able to fix if i would like to uh, design m30 just like that i can't able to instead of 30 i can uh, make it as a 50 as a target that is getting into the uneconomical so for how to achieve or how to fix the target that we need to plan the achieving of the planning uh, planned grade of concrete depends on n number of factors related to the material what we are going to use the mode of execution site characteristics environmental conditions so on so so on so on so on so in order that not more than specific proportion of the test are, uh, are likely to fall below the characteristic strengths. That is the definition of uh, the characteristic uh, uh, compression strength. The concrete mix has to be proportioned for higher target mean strength. It is represented by FCK. The margin over the characteristic strength is given in the following relation. FCK. Uh, uh, in some book, it may be represented as a capital F or a small fck dash fck is the uh, the strength what we are going to design that is characteristics compression strength at 28 days fck dash is nothing but target at what target we are going to design so for that uh, that uh, is standard recommended a two formulas fck plus 1.65 yes or fck plus x we can make use of the two equation, whatever the value we are getting in a two equation, that higher value we have to fix. So what is that S? Yes, what is that X means? Yes, standard deviation. We have to conduct uh, the test in the uh, field. We have to arrive that standard deviation. Or, or else we can directly fix that, assume that value of X and we can execute. So like this. The definition for uh, that uh, the characteristic strength it is given in a uh, yes four five six the characteristic strength is uh, defined as the strength of the material below which not more than five percent of the test results are expected to fall. sample five percent sample only we can expect that uh, the target can be deviated. So that is called uh, characteristics compression strength. The value of uh, X, as it is mentioned uh, in the uh, right side of the uh, presentation, here, based on the grade of concrete, if it is M10, M15, the value of X can be assumed as 5. If it is a 20, 25, the value can be 5.5. 5. 30 to 60, 6.5, the, the grade of concrete is higher. M65 and above, we can fix this as 8. Okay. So let me uh, discuss in a step-by-step -step procedure. I will explain how to uh, arrive this value of yes. Here, assumed standard deviation. If there is no data, there is no uh, test data available, we can directly assume this value and we can execute the, uh, uh, the, the fixing the target strength. 1.65 times 3, 5. This, this is the value of yes for a different grade of the concrete, we can execute. So how to achieve that standard deviation at the site? So based on the type of sample and the, the volume of the concrete, if uh, RMC ready mix concrete deliver one lorry of uh, concrete means, how to uh, design the standard deviation means, we have to take number of sample, uh, sample of the concrete and we have to uh, test that from the result only we have to achieve 
the standard deviation. So how this can be uh, executed means the number of test results sample minimum we have to take 30 samples. The sta standard deviation must calculate up to do, uh, today periodically for every batching of congruent. So today morning uh, we are having uh, some batching of congruent. Today evening another uh, uh, manufacturer will supply the congruent to the site mates. We have to check that uh, sample also. Then only we are able to get how much it is deviating from the uh, the things whatever we have assumed that we have to uh, need. It can be checked every month with the required number of the sample and it must be uh, less than the value considered in the mix. So how this can be uh, arrived the standard deviation yes value. First I told first we have to design how many number of samples we are going to take. So as per recommendation minimum 30 samples we have to take. Then we have to find the average average value of compression strength of all uh, number of samples then we have to find the var variance for each the sample number one whatever the value we are getting and what is the difference with average for each uh, uh, specimen or each sample i have to find the variance then the sum of all variance you just see in this formula the sum of variance the square of the variance divided by number of sample minus one uh, root of that value we will get standard deviation by conducting the test of the field we can arrive this uh, yes value or we can assume directly based on the experiment and execute the, uh, that the procedure for fixing the target strength if you have two batch two batches of instead of a single batch for a same uh, execution of the work a two batch of concrete is there means I, I have to uh, find the S value for two batches. The N1, N2 represent the group one and group two, number of samples of group one, number of samples in group two. Uh, both minimum value of uh, both sample must be 10. When I club together, this value should not be less than 30. Minimum 30 must be we have to take from a group one, I can take 15 and group two, I can take 10. I should not go in a for a group one. I should not take 25 and group two. I should not take uh, five. I have to satisfy the criteria minimum 10. I have to take. So by this, I can find the S yes value. Where sufficient test results of for a particular grade of concrete is not available. The value of standard uh, deviation given in this table can be assumed and execute the fixing of target strength value. So with this, let me conclude our today's session. Uh, the further is in a further upcoming class. Uh, let me discuss uh, in detail about uh, uh, course aggregate. When 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 I am talking about course aggregate, what are the factors supposed to uh, consider? Uh, in what aspect it, it must be uh, correlated for designing the mixed design what are the exact guidelines it was recommended uh, to design such a things uh, that will be uh, discussed in a uh, next uh, session uh, let me uh, share on that uh, very shortly so with that uh, let me conclude this today's session thank you all